having a mother like the Blessed Virgin Mary who loved Jesus so much she is naturally concerned for Jesus because he's left home for his public ministry she hears of John the Baptist's beheading I suppose what Herod had done to John the Baptist he was a great figure at that time and now that he's gone Jesus now becomes the next great figure in the sense who's going to be causing all a lot of controversies and telling people off he's already doing part of it already and so it's only natural that a mother would want to ensure that her son is shown love and care in these difficult times so she goes to meet Jesus and it's very difficult of course impossible women to travel on their own so she brings with her the gospel says the brothers of Jesus now you might be confused about it but where I come from from India there is absolutely no confusion at all. In the south of India, the state where I come from is Tamil Nadu, and it is the culture there, the understanding that your father's brothers and your mother's sister's children are considered your brothers and sisters. There is no confusion there. If your mother's brother has children, or your, mother, your, sorry, your father's brothers had children, or your mother's sisters had children, they were your brothers and sisters. If your father's sisters or your mother's brothers had children, they were considered your cousins. So you see, Jesus had no brothers and sisters from Mary, but certainly from Joseph, Joseph would have had brothers and the brother's children would be Jesus' brothers and sisters. So the Gospel is simply saying Jesus' family came looking for him simply to let him know that they're concerned about him now that they've heard of John the Baptist. And when they get there, they are unable to get to Jesus because of the crowds. I mean, clearly, Jesus wasn't having a nap or having a meal because he would have been taken straight in to Jesus. But the fact that they couldn't get to Jesus because he was perhaps teaching the people. And even at a very young age, when he was found at the temp in the temple after missing for three days, he says to Mary, his mother, when she says, why have you done this to us? Jesus says, I was busy about my father's business at a very young age. Our Lord was carrying out his father's work. So now that he has got a crowd around him and he's teaching them about the father's love for them and the father's mercy towards them, reaching out to draw them into the father's love, He's not going to let anything interrupt him or anyone interrupt him. But rather he uses that as an opportunity to tell the people who is my mother and my brothers. Anyone, everyone who listens to my words and acts on them. They are my mother, brothers and sisters. You see, already our Lord has drawn us into his family. He assures us when we pay heed to his word and when we act upon it, then we will be the brothers and sisters that he is calling us to be through our baptism. So often we listen to a lot of stuff. There are many people who are constantly reading articles, reading books, doing this, 
They're reading, reading, reading. They're doing a lot of learning and understanding. But everything has got to lead us to action. There's no point of us having all this knowledge if we can't pass it on to other people. There's no point of learning how things are done in the mission and not doing anything about the mission at all. So when we listen to the word, it calls us to act. Because it's through our actions we become witnesses of Jesus. We can speak very eloquently, but if our actions don't complement what we are talking about, then every word is devoid of any meaning at all. And as we come to this Eucharist, let us ask our Lord for the grace, the grace that He's given us through our baptism to be called as brothers and sisters. Let us ask Him that we always be open to the grace to act, to act in this missionary field, to act on the gospel, to bring people closer to Him in the way we live our life each day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.